Hello everyone and welcome to a very special video here. As you can see, there are four witch huts over here. So this is a quadruple witch hut seat and yeah, so this is what the video is about today. So I also already made a teaser just a while ago. We have made a program to search for witch uh, hut clusters and we is Philip and I and yeah, he also will release a video about this and since he did most of the coding and I just helped him to improve the code, um, we decided that you will find the download link for the program and some example seeds, uh, well, in the description of his video, so yeah, please check him out as well. Um, yeah, he deserves some views and um, yeah, so the program here, yeah, as I said, it searches for quad witch huts and it's actually you can't get anything better than a quad witch hut and they also can't be, they can be a little bit closer and that would be really awesome because this is the closest setting, we found several of these settings here but we didn't find any closer ones so far, if you would uh, help us finding an even better one. So yeah, he will explain the um, witch hut algorithm in detail and I will just go over some examples what can also happen and some of the numbers involved into this program here which is absolutely crazy. Let's just quickly check them out. So, yeah, pretty, um, they seem to be pretty far apart, but it's still, there is, uh, yeah, uh, like, a, a, um, you can actually build a, a room in the middle here where all of them are always active. So, yeah, you can build a proper witch farm here. And um, so there can't be a fifth witch, witch hut. Fourth witch hut is the best thing you can get. And, um, yeah, so, well, for the numbers, we should um, go into another world because over there I can uh, demonstrate this really, really good. How many, um, yeah, seats you have to check on average. So, imagine that we have. Let me just quickly grab one a dispenser and we fill it in with uh, seats. I don't actually have seats, but let's just assume that each of these green wool blocks represents a seat. So we have uh, 576 seats in one dispenser here. And one dispenser has a seat with a good and close quad witch hut, like the one I showed you. Then you would need to place, yeah, this cube here represents the amount of dispensers you would have to place. Unfortunately, I can't actually displace them because that those are tile and tighty, so they have an uh, inventory and the game would just lag like crazy if I would place so many. And this cube here represents uh, 350 times 350 times 250 dispensers all filled with 9 stacks of seats and one of them is a good quad witch hut. Yeah, so the quad witch finder program is currently, uh, we made it that fast that we can uh, check uh, on my PC at least uh, one seat in about 600 nanoseconds and yes you still have to search for yeah four, uh, four hours on five or five hours on average to find one really close quad witch hut but the program also finds some which are just barely in range of each other uh, which aren't that good because you can only stand at one single spot exactly to get them working and um so yeah but there's those are way more often so we'll, you will actually get an output like every well, every 10 minutes or so, if you let the program run on a fast PC. And um, yeah, so we need your help because right now we found around 20 seats because we have let the program run on several PCs on, uh, for more than a day now, which is um, which are really close and good, but none of them has a mushroom biome uh, close to it, for example. And there are also some other very interesting things you can find. And let me quickly demonstrate this as well. So. Um, in this seat here, well, there's also a quadruple witch hut. Um, da, 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 da. So, the program found witch hut over there, witch hut over there, and another witch hut over there. But over there, there is a jungle temple. Yep. So, this is actually even rarer, but the point is that the spawn algorithm for monsters actually it, sp it spawns witches if there is a structure within the swamp biome and yeah the, the, our program actually found this because the structure code uh, uh, yeah the, 
um, code is the same for desert temples, for uh, witch huts and for jungle temples. It's just depending on the biome which is gen being generated. Yeah, and this um, desert temple here, uh, jungle temple here is actually only within, uh, yeah, only one of the corners here. This corner here is within a jungle and most of it is actually within a river biome. But if you find, for example, a desert temple or a jungle temple, which is maybe one corner is within the jungle, of course, because it has to be generated from over there. But if most of it is within a swamp biome, then it's actually like a gigantic witch hut. It will also spawn witches and uh, a lot more than just a witch hut because a witch hut is way smaller. So that would be also cool if uh, you tried out the program and you actually find like a quad witch hut where one of them is a desert temple which is mostly within a swamp biome. Because we also had this already with a triple witch hut but not yet with a quad one. So maybe we find something better and that's why I need your help. So yeah, I think this is enough rambling. If you want to exactly know how the spawning algorithm works or if you want to help us or just get some example seeds. Uh, check the link in the description to Philip's video and by the way um, you may ask why are we doing this and also ask why is my microphone quality so bad and uh, the second question is I don't know exactly it probably has to something to do with the uh, well the microphone at least is shitty anyway but I already bought a new headset it will arrive within the next few days and I will have a way better sound quality hopefully and the first question well there is the 1.5 update, which so many new awesome features, which pretty much mean that we would have to rebuild our complete uh, farm to make it better, but uh, and our complete survival map. But what we will do ex instead is, yep, we will start a new world. But before we get to that, we first need a good seed for it, and that's why we invented this program here. And we also want to finish some other projects on the other seed, so prepare for a new survival episode very soon. And after that, you will, uh, yeah, we will restart the server and uh, also release more server tools, hopefully. Because the plan is that um, uh, several members will actually make videos about the server and not only me. So we will see how this works out. Anyway, yeah, enough for the update information. Uh, see you in the next video and goodbye!